So my name's Josie. I am a loss survivor, and I'm also an attempt survivor. Um, suicide's a very deep personal issue for me. As I know, it affects so many, uh, just like it's affected me. But I'm also here, and I love to explain to people that there's always hope. Um, suicide is preventable. Suicide can be detected. It's a health condition. Uh, mental health needs to be talked about. We need to end that stigma. I didn't ever find people that talked about suicide or prevention of suicide or, or depression or anxiety. And someone that struggled being transgender, not even knowing that term till later in life, um, suicide and depression played major roles throughout my entire life. Um, my first attempt was at the age of eight. And the last thing I ever want is another child at that age thinking that's the only option. I felt like I was in this deep, dark, muddy, murky, just god-awful spot. And nothing I did was pulling me out of it. When I first started trying to figure out who I was and started to find some things, even then it was, it was all the negative that I saw, um, knowing that if I transitioned, that I was gonna lose a ton of people. Knowing that if I transitioned, I, I wasn't sure how my two girls were gonna react. Um, knowing by transitioning that the reality was I was probably giving up walking my girls down the aisle when they get married. Those were all things that almost made me stop from transitioning and finding the happiness that I found. Once again, that's where the counselor helped me work through that and see that there was, there was a lot more hope to it than those negatives that I was focusing on. Instead of this society model that we've built that you always have to be strong you always have to be this independent person you don't accept help that's a sign of weakness and that's just not true and i think that's one thing that just as individuals we have to help break and it will spread out people people see it and they pick it up and, and if you aren't afraid to ask for help you're actually stronger because it's a sign of strength instead of a sign of weakness and i think it's getting that mentality changed not everybody needs a counselor. Sometimes it is that friend. Sometimes it's the family. You have to find who works for you. Who's going to call you out on things? Who's going to help you process things? When you find that, it's amazing the strength that will come out of that. And that's, that was the case with me. I had an amazing counselor that helped me process things, helped me process all my childhood trauma that I went through, my military trauma that I went through, and um, helped me find who I was. As a result, I, I just, I love life. I, I see life in color. It's amazing and I want that for everyone. I want everybody to see how beautiful life can be and, and enjoy it with each other.